Hello and welcome to Praise and Worship, and I'm so glad you joined us today. We have so many things to praise Jesus for, don't we? I'd like to invite you to uh, send your, your favorite song request in, and I'll play them for you. Songs maybe that you haven't heard for a while, or it's something that's really near and dear to your heart. Uh, perhaps you want to dedicate it to someone that's having a birthday or an anniversary or just somebody that you know has maybe been shut in because of the virus and they could really just use a little pick-me-up. Uh, whatever it is, just send your request in right now, and I'd love to hear where you're from. So don't forget to tell me where you're from. Uh, we're going to start off with the song um, from dear, very dear friends of mine, and they um, it's from Star and Dolores, and we've been friends for a long, long time, and they've been huge supporters of our ministry, Kids Club for Jesus, and they wanted this song, The Pearly White City. So Star and Dolores, this is for you. is especially near and dear to my heart as well. My mom used to sing that song when my dad would preach and my mom would sing for special music and I had the privilege of accompanying her. And uh, so this song, whenever I hear it, Mom, I think of you. Mom's watching. I love you, Mom. And uh, so that one's for you as well. There's another song that I just learned today for the first time and it is from uh, uh, Stuart Boaz from Ghana. And Stuart um, shared with me, this is a song that you really don't hear a lot in our churches over here, and it is his favorite song. So I had to go on the internet and try to listen to it being played, and so I, because I play by ear, and so I hope I do this justice for Stuart, but um, it is the uh, uh, song called um, We Speak the Realms, We Speak of the Realms, and I thought I'd just read the words a little bit to you, because it's so, it is so meaningful, and I... Hadn't heard it before, but I definitely would like to sing it again. But if you listen to these words, we speak of the realms of the blessed, that country so bright and so fair, and oft are its glories confessed, but what must it be to be there? We speak of its pathway of gold, its walls decked with jewels so rare, its wonders and pleasures untold, but what must it be to be there? We speak of its freedom from sin, from sorrow, temptation, and care, from trials without and within, but what must it be to be there? We speak of its service of love, of the robes which the glorified wear, of the church of the firstborn above, but what must it be to be there? Our mourning is all at the end, when raised by the life-giving word, we see the new city descend, adorned as a bride for her Lord. The city is so holy and clean, no sorrow can breathe in the air, no gloom of affliction or sin, no shadow of evil is there. And the last verse, do thou midst temptation and woe, for heaven my spirit prepare, and shortly I also shall know and feel what it is to be there. Then o'er the bright fields we shall roam, in glory celestial and fair, with saints and with angels at home, and Jesus himself will be there. 
Isn't that a beautiful song? I really love, I, I, I loved it very much. So um, right now we speak of the realms. beautiful song and so thank you Stuart I really am glad that you taught me that song today I love that uh, we have a song for Pamela fill my cup Renetta from, uh, to oh wow, this is from Michigan, and it's a name I'm not sure I can say, uh, Topanin, Topin Abbey, Topin Abbey on Michigan. Because I'm from Battle Creek, Michigan. I was born there, but I have not heard of that city <laughs> because he lives. Lamonti and also Debbie Scott is from Oregon. Uh, I'm not sure where Lamonti's from, but they would both like to have his eye is on the sparrow.
It's one of my favorite songs, His Eye is on the Sparrow. And let's see here, we have, um, there's quite a few people here that have asking for the song Happy Sabbath, and I never heard that song before, but if you want to, um, uh, if, I, if I have heard it, I've forgotten it right now, so I will try to put, learn that this week and play it for you next Sabbath. Oh, Melissa's saying that's just a greeting saying Happy Sabbath. Okay. I was like, I don't know that song. <laughs> well, Happy Sabbath to everybody here too. Happy Sabbath. Um, and it is a Happy Sabbath, especially when we can just spend the day just praising Jesus. That, that's what really is, is such a blessing with Sabbath. What a gift that God has given us is the gift of his Sabbath. And so uh, let's see. Uh, We have Jesus Loves Me for Lucy and her cousin Kathy. They're from the Pleasant Hill SDA Church. Jesus Loves Me. does love you. He loves each one of us. Praise the Lord for that. And let's see, we have, um, uh, Stephen from Nigeria would like to have the great physician is now here. And I'm not familiar with that song either, Stephen, but I do know, uh, one for Teresa from Australia would like to have all the way my savior leads me. Pinky says, good morning from the Philippines. And Pinky, it's awfully early over there. And thank you for being so faithful and joining us every Sabbath, getting up so early. What is it, like 5.30 in the morning there? And so um, thank you for joining us. And I pray that you'll receive a blessing as well. And um, then Sherry Lynn would like to have the glory song. Um, Melissa, if you just give me the first line of that song. I always forget the name of that song. It throws me. Um, is that when all my trials and labors are over? I'm thinking, I think it is. songs by that glory song name and I always uh, get those confused so thank you Jesus for that Uh, and Peggy your birthday is on Monday happy birthday Peggy and uh, every day every day is a day to praise Jesus when we wake up it's a good and happy day and every birthday is another year to thank Jesus for one more year of life so celebrate those birthdays not so much as you know me 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 Make that a day of celebration for Jesus and a thank you day for your gift of, of life. So that's how I look at birthdays. They, they, those are thank yous for, to Jesus. And um, let's see, Amazing Grace, uh, P- uh, Patrice Rampal from Trinidad and Tobago, and also Casey and Betty Joe from Texas would like this one. And Casey and Betty Joe, 
Uh, you were very, very special to me, and I want to thank you for all that you do uh, for, for children's ministries and especially our Kids Club for Jesus ministry. I just wanted to reach out to each one of you watching right now and uh, just ask if you would uh, just pray about what God would have you do to help support our ministry. We're a self-supporting ministry, and, and we have... Um, uh, a, a ministry, if you go to kidsclubforjesus.org, we actually um, have on-demand Christ-centered programs for your children to watch. And I guarantee that adults will like to watch these programs too. All different variety of programs, including Kids Time, you can watch there. And uh, soon you're going to see a lot of Kids Time praise programs. We're, we're adding new programs every single week to the lineup, getting ready to add a new Sabbath school program. God is really blessing. But we really do need your prayers and financial support to keep this ministry going. So if you would just pray about what God would have you do, I'd appreciate it. And Casey and Betty Jo, I want to thank you so much uh, for the sacrifices you make every day for this ministry. And so I'm going to play this song for you, Amazing Grace. like to have I Surrender All. A song I think each one of us should actually sing every single day because our biggest battle that we have here on earth is is with self it's with selfishness and it's a constant battle to surrender for God's will instead of our will and so that's why this song is so important to me and when I try to really sing in my heart every single day Lord I surrender all and it's a moment by moment surrender isn't it so it's a, an important song to sing Kona from the Philippines, uh, thank you for joining us, Kona. She would like to have Go Tell It on the Mountain. everybody right now, Jesus is coming soon. And I can't wait, can you? Uh, we have here, um, Talitha sends her love from Ivana and requests more about Jesus. And Talitha, I forgot to play Blessed Assurance for you last week, and I promised you I'd play that again this week. I'll, sit, I'll play that for you too. So Melissa, remind me to play Blessed Assurance a little later for Talitha. Talitha is all the way over in Tasmania, and uh, her uh, mom is one of my closest and dearest friends, uh, Eva. And, they, and she had a little daughter and named her Ivana. Is that not precious? And I get all my little Ivana pictures. And I'd say I need my Ivana fix because she's the most gorgeous baby. Gorgeous little girl. And uh, so, Talitha, this is for you. More about Jesus.
see. Uh, Renetta says, um, oh, she's telling me how to tell how to pronounce uh, that town in Michigan. And she says, Tappen, Tappenabee, Tappenabee. OK, Tappenabee, Michigan. So, Rhonda, so, I mean, Renetta, that's good to know where you're from. And Bing would like to almost time for the Lord to come. And yes, it is. Precious uh, roommate from Academy, uh, Dr. Lois Somerville, bringing in the sheaves. to be a Daniel. Uh, BJ Severe from the Philippines, dare to be a Daniel. To dare to be a Daniel, dare to have integrity, dare to stand up for what is right, even though everybody might against, be against you, even though it might not be the popular thing to do, uh, it might not be the easiest thing for you, but stand up, dare to be a Daniel, be a person of integrity, dare to shine for Jesus. Uh, let's see, uh, Leslie would like to have, there is sunshine in my soul today. sunshine in your soul today? I hope so. Uh, we have lots to praise Jesus for, don't we? And then, uh, oh, my, I'm our general manager uh, for Kids Club for Jesus is here with me. She's been with me in ministry side by side for more than 12 years now. And her name is Melissa Hoffman. And I really just um, can't even tell you how much I love and appreciate her. And her precious mom, uh, Pam Nectal, would like to have Open My Eyes, Lord. Rachel from Australia would like to have in times like these. Where are you from in Australia, Rachel? 
in times like these. from Gainesville, Texas would like to have I'd Rather Have Jesus. Jesus too. Um, happy birthday being it's your birthday today so I want to say happy birthday to you and also you would like to have great is thy faithfulness. Well, happy birthday, Bing. And let's see. Oh, Hannah from New York would like to have When We All Get to Heaven.
that's when I just love that song so much. I could play every single verse and wish you all were right here around me. We're just singing it. Can you imagine what it's going to be like singing in the heavenly choir? Oh, I can't even wait for that day. That's going to be amazing. Um, Vicki would like to have When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. time just that course okay that's an amen and an amen right there isn't it when the roll is called up yonder I'll be there and we have that blessed hope because of Jesus who died on Calvary. He died for us so that we can spend eternity with him forever. And I really truly believe it won't be much longer. We are going home. We're going home soon. Jesus is coming again soon. And this is so appropriate. Heather from Alpena, Michigan. I have decided to follow Jesus. And this is the time right now to make, make that decision. Get off the fence. You cannot be lukewarm. You cannot be cold or hot. You must, you must make a decision. I must decide to follow Jesus. My daddy used to say, you cannot be riding the fence. And do you know why you can't be on that fence? You have to make a decision one way or the other. You can't be on the fence because the devil owns the fence. Yep. That's what my daddy said. And so you need to make a decision right now. Make that decision today to follow Jesus. It's, I must tell Jesus is um, Jasmine would like to have this one dedicated to her brother and I'm not really sure I know all of this Jasmine and I'm going to try it but if I if I can't play it then I'll learn it for you and play it next week okay but I'm not positive I know it I just gave that to me. It just came back to me. So thank you, Jesus, for that. And um, that's dedicated to your brother. Uh, let's see. We have uh, and Rachel. Uh, thanks for telling me where you live. Rachel lives um, in uh, a town called Bega in New South Wales. So it's wonderful. I wonder if I've met you there before because I've been all over Australia. Someone told me that I've been to Australia for so many years now that uh, they said, I, I, I've been to more places in Australia than most Australians <laughs> because I've traveled literally all over your country from north to south, east and west and all over. So um, I, love, I love Australia and all my brothers and sisters there. Um, let's see. 
Um, there is a fountain. Um, can you give me the first line of that, Melissa? There is a fountain for Easton, Texas. I'll see if I can remember that one. And uh, let's see. Hannah and Rachel would like to have Master the Tempest is Raging. And also Teresa from Australia uh, wanted this one. And Rhonda from Naples, Florida, whisper a prayer. have a prayer in our heart. Always be ready to talk to Jesus anytime, anywhere. And let's see. Oh, and so Melissa, thank you for that. She just sent me the words, there is a fountain. And um, this one is from uh, Isa from Texas. Okay. I just need that first line to get me going there and help me trigger memories uh, to remember the song. And Thelma from the Philippines. Thelma, thank you for waking up so early and joining us in the Philippines. And you would like to have Give Me the Bible. Sabbath school teacher and about every division that um, that we have in our in, for our young people and give me the Bible is one that the kindergartens like the primary like the juniors liked and even the early teen liked that one so give me the Bible and we can't just have enough of God's word can we let's see we have Jasmine would like I need the every hour Every hour. Uh, Talitha, this one's for you. I'm sorry about last week. I, it rolled past me and I didn't see it. 
And I got to tell you, Melissa's got her hands full over there because as everyone's uh, sending in their requests, she's typing them to me on my texting right here on my iPad as fast as she can so that we can, um, and sometimes they roll past me even and I don't see them. So Talitha, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. SKA from England would like to have gleams of the golden morning. like to have worthy is the lamb and i'm not sure of that song lucy but i'll try to look it up this week and learn it for you for the next sabbath so be sure and join me next week for that okay and then um let's see we have um Sal salasini uh, volao from suva fiji and i had the privilege of being in fiji last year we had the most amazing time with you i love all my uh, brothers and sisters in fiji and more beautiful than your island is the people, the most loving, giving people. So um, this one, uh, Salasini would like to have Jesus is all the world to me. any. Uh, Helene from Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. It is well with my soul. from Castle Rock, Washington, Mansion Over the Hilltop.
Sherry Lynn, Jesus Paid It All. song for Melissa, my general manager for our Kids Club for Jesus, for her dad, Dale, face to face. song for um, uh, Philippe Gonzalez from Ottawa, Tennessee it has requested the song Holy City and uh, Bing from Massachusetts would like this as well so that's so another happy birthday song for you Bing and this goes out to for Philippe Gonzalez the Holy City going to be like when we all get to heaven we see Jerusalem for the first time our mind can't even comprehend it we just can't even comprehend it uh, it's going to be such an amazing day Susan would like to have the Lord's Prayer
and Altesia Bryan from uh, Trinidad and Tobago would like to have the old rugged cross. And I think this old song is just like everybody's favorite too, the old rugged cross, when we really think about what Jesus died for us on the cross. And I've been to Trinidad and Tobago many times and uh, spoke there many times and, and uh, love every one of you there. Uh, the old rugged cross and soon because of the old rugged cross, we were going to have the privilege of being neighbors in heaven soon. Amen? The old rugged cross. in Missouri would like to have in the garden. Villanueva is from the Philippines and she would like to have the Savior is waiting and let's see we have um, and I just want to thank you um, Clarice, Clarice May for also for just getting up so early to, to worship with us and praise Jesus and if I've missed one of your songs if I've seen it some are scro scrolling by so fast I don't get to see them I will try to get them for you next week if I miss them also um, a song came in about no more night I'm not really sure about how I don't think I know that song but I'll try to learn it for you for next week okay uh, so Clarice May uh, from the Philippines the Savior is waiting a song for Luann Moon Crandall from Phoenix, Arizona, What the World Needs is Jesus. And what the world is needs, uh, does need is Jesus. And um, we can't have enough of God's love, right? And we want to keep it close in our heart and just ask Jesus to fill, come into our heart and life each day. Fill us with the Holy Spirit so that we can shine his love everywhere we go.
of a song here, All Things Bright and Beautiful. Uh, Lester Louie dedicates, would like this dedicated to his niece, Catherine, in Kander, North Carolina. So Catherine, this is for you. Um, All Things Bright and Beautiful. all the time we have for favorites today. I'm going to tell you well, I'm getting ready to uh, play a postlude where I just play a mel uh, melody of songs for you. And um, while I'm playing the postlude, is your time to send in your prayer requests. This is the time for you to just send in all the prayer requests. Anybody you would like me to pray for, uh, send it in right down. Maybe it's a, uh, someone that you um, is close to your heart that's knowing suffering or he needs healing or is going through a hard time. Maybe it's a loved one that just doesn't know Jesus and you want to see them in the kingdom. Maybe it's a personal prayer or maybe you would just like to have an unspoken request. Uh, wherever you are, whatever the need is, this is the time now for you to submit those prayer requests. And when I'm through playing, we will approach the throne room of God. Uh, so send those prayer requests in right now.
Well, I'm time to approach the throne room of God. If there's any other requests, even while I'm praying, praying and you're maybe even joining us late, go ahead and just send those uh, requests in. And I can assure you that even um, after we uh, go off live, and these will be posted uh, on our website here uh, on uh, Facebook, on our, our Facebook page, Brenda Walsh Ministries. But we'll also post it on my YouTube channel, uh, Brenda Walsh Ministries. And people will continue to pray for these prayer requests, and I'll continue to pray. Uh, there's power in, in prayer. So let's just um, go before the Lord right now in prayer. Precious Heavenly Father, Lord, I just want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of your Sabbath. Thank you for the privilege of being able to worship like this. Even though, Lord, that we are restricted by the COVID-19, Lord, when people are shut up in their homes all over the world still, and many of us can't worship in a church, Lord, I just thank you for the privilege of being able to be connected in this technology. You've told us in the end of time, Lord, that knowledge will be increased, and Lord, we can see that. And Lord, we thank you for that privilege of being able to worship you all together in countries around the world. Lord, we are so homesick for heaven. We can't wait for you to come. This earth, Lord, has so much sorrow and tears and death and heartache. And Lord, we just are longing for you to come in those clouds of glory, Lord, to take us home. When all the pain and suffering on this earth will be over. But each day will be more glorious than the day before. Lord, we can't wait for that day. Lord, I just would like to lift up Tanya, um, for her, uh, Tanya's husband, Jeff, who was in a bicycle accident Friday night. And he, Lord, he still has a swollen hand and a cracked bone above his top teeth. And Lord, I'm sure just a lot of pain and agony. Lord, if you would just be his great physician. And I thank you, Lord, for sparing his life. Uh, so be with Tanya's husband in a special way right now. Lord, I pray for Michelle's 76-year-old husband, Max, who, Lord, is, she, he was ambushed by a bunch of hornets and has stings across his neck and arms and hands. And Lord, there's so much pain. And Lord, it's so painful to be stung by bees. And Lord, I just ask that you would be with him in a special way. And um, I also, Lord, would... Um, would like to pray for my precious friend, Jenny, who has been suffering so much, Lord. You know uh, the pain that she is in, and Lord, she needs you to be her great physician. Lord, I ask that you place your hand upon her, Lord, and heal her. Lord, I also pray for Kevin, Lord, who, Lord, has a new business, and I ask you to, to just bless him financially, Lord, that you would, in the middle of all this coronavirus stuff, Lord, that you you would continue to bless his 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 work, Lord, and and, um, and also bless him financially in this business, Lord. It's a, it's a ministry that will help so many people. Lord, I pray for, um, for Jerry's request for her children, who, Lord, need to know that you love them, and they need to learn to love you. And, Lord, I pray for um, also for everyone that needs healing from seizures. Lord, it's really heavy on Jerry's heart, and I know that people that suffer from seizures, Lord, it's so, such a, can be such a debilitating disease. And so Lord, I ask that you'd be with each one. And um, I pray for Bing, Lord. I first want to thank you for his life, a special day today on his birthday. And Lord, I pray that you would you answer his unspoken request. Lord, you know what that is. Answer according to your will. And Lord, I pray for um, Edward's family and also for his church. Lord, we know our churches are going through a really struggling time right now as we, you know, are in the last days of, of Earth's history. And Lord, I pray that you would be with our, our churches, be with our church families. Lord, keep us faithful to our commitments to you. I pray for Sherry Lynn, Lord, for herself and Lord, to help her to fight the enemy of discouragement. Lord, whenever the devil tries to to just discourage her, remind her just how much you love her, that she is a daughter of the king of the universe. And I pray, Lord, you would just draw her extra close. I pray, Lord, for uh, Monique's mom, Pat. You know what the need is, Lord, and we just ask you to, to answer according to your will. I pray, Lord, um, for Charlene's husband, her children, and her grandchildren to give their hearts to you. Lord, she wants to see her family in heaven without one lost. So, Lord, I ask that you would grant that prayer. 
And I pray for Mary's husband, Antonio, who's suffering from sciatica pain and leg pain. And Lord, that is so painful. As a registered nurse, Lord, I can tell you, I've, I know how many patients have suffered such terrible, agonizing pain. And Lord, I just ask that you would be with Antonio in a special way, that you would put your healing hand upon him. And I pray, Lord, for Pam's prayer request for Jamie, who's been diagnosed with COVID. Lord, it's a scary disease and, and, um, and affects some people worse than others. So, Lord, I just ask that you would be with him in a special way and heal him, Lord, uh, keep him safe. Um, I pray for Hannah, Lord, who's scheduled to have surgery soon. And I pray that you would be her great physician, that you would guide those surgeons' hands. And I pray, Lord, for successful, not only surgery, but a healing, Lord. And uh, just place your healing hand upon her, Lord, even now, even as she's preparing to go into surgery. I pray for little baby Imogene in Australia, Lord, who has a brain tumor, was born with brain cancer, and Lord is in undergoing chemotherapy right now, Lord, and I, for yet another tumor. And Lord, I ask that you would just you know, destroy that tumor in this child's brain, Lord, that you would just, if it be your will, Lord, take all signs of cancer away so that this little girl can grow up to just shine for you. Lord, you know she has such precious parents, and Brad and Christy, Lord, love you so much, and they are raising their four other little girls, Lord, to love you. And I pray that you would just heal baby Imogene, Lord, so that she can join her sisters laughing and pr praying and praising, praising you, Lord, and and play this so they can play together and they can be a family that rejoices and praises you together, Lord. I ask for a miracle on her behalf. And I pray for Kai, Lord, for her colleague, Mommy Patty, for healing for her gallbladder surgery. Also for her 76-year-old mother, Risa, to have a strong and healthy body as her doctor advises surgery to have um, a lumps removed from her breast. Lord, that's a scary thing to have happen. And so, Lord, be with this. Um, precious woman in a special way. And I pray for Thelma's request for her family, also for her friends, brother, um, Sunday, sister, Ramona, Alwyn, and Yoli, who are sick. Lord, you know their need and be their great physician. And I pray for Rhonda's request for Kevin's safety and Lord, for him to stop smoking. Lord, smoking is such a horrible, horrible disease. It's one that just kills you slowly, Lord, because it's poisoning your body. And Lord, I pray you will give him the victory. And that um, just, Lord, every time he even smells a cigarette, make him nauseous, Lord, just so nauseous he wants to throw up. Lord, just, just I pray that you will save him from this enemy. And um, I also pray um, for Esther would also like prayer for her family to give their hearts to Jesus. And she has a praise report regarding her cousin Eva, who had a massive heart attack, Lord, that she's out of ICU and she's doing so much better. And Lord, we just give you praise, all honor, praise and glory. Thank you, Jesus, for this. Continue to be her great physician as she continues to heal. And Kai would also like prayer for her cousin Sarah Jane and her colleagues who were exposed to COVID, uh, to a COVID patient. And Lord, they're praying that the test results come back negative and also a negative result, Lord, for her brother, Mike. So, Lord, we're asking that you answer these prayers according to your will. Lord, I pray uh, for continued healing for my friend, Diane Mapes, Lord. And I want to thank you already for what you've done for her, Lord, uh, from having open heart surgery, Lord. And she's already out of the hospital. She's home. And, Lord, you just answered that prayer. And we want to just give you all praise, honor, and glory. And thank you for that. And ask for continued healing for her. I'd also ask to lift up my precious friend Lois, Lord, that you continue to place your hand on that new kidney and, and that it keep operating um, the way you want it to, Lord, the way it should, and uh, that you would uh, completely heal Lois so that she can continue to praise you and worship you, Lord, and serve you. Lord, we thank you for being our, our wonderful Lord and Savior, a God of grace and mercy, a God who answers prayers. You not only hear, Lord, but you answer. You listen to every prayer and you answer according to your will. Lord, we pray all these things according to your will. We wouldn't want it any other way than your way. And we give you all praise, honor, and glory. In your precious holy name I pray. Amen.
thank you so much for joining us uh, for another uh, uh, time of praise and worship to our Heavenly Father. I'd also ask you to pray this week about, um, ask God to impress upon your heart about supporting our Kids Club for Jesus ministry so that we can continue to produce more and more programs for children, that we can do uh, more for kids to bring them closer to Jesus. Uh, we're, uh, we need more funds to start our leadership center where we can train children to be leaders for Christ. So if, if um, God places that on your heart, just go to kidsclubforjesus.org and you can just hit the donate button right there. Um, and you can also, there's a place on Facebook as well. And just ask God, what would he have you do to support children's ministries? I want to thank you, encourage you to join me next week. Invite your friends. Would y'all just start watch parties and, uh, next week and we'll have even more people joining us for praise and worship. Also on Wednesday at 5.30 Eastern, I'll be here in the kitchen cooking with Miss Brenda. And we have uh, some exciting meals coming up. And I'd ask for you to join us. Get all the kiddos around and get them to join us as well. I'd love to have them. And also encourage you to join our group on Facebook, a brand new group I started, uh, where we have scripture pics, where you can have beautiful pictures with the scripture on it and a wonderful way to share God's word. Right here on Facebook, go to uh, uh, Daily Scripture uh, from Brenda Walsh Ministries and just hit join. And uh, thank you again for joining us. I want to encourage you to have an awesome week this week, praising Jesus. Remember, it's your time to share and praise Jesus. Goodbye, everybody. God bless you. Have a good week.